about the, the shaved heads while what behind that? Yeah, so um, we've been raising money uh, with Versus Cancer for uh, pediatric brain cancer, and so we've raised over twenty-three thousand dollars for that um, just over the course of the fall into this early spring, and something that uh, we did at Texas A&M partner with Versus Cancer and uh, kind of culminates with shaving of the heads to support, um, you know, the, the kids. And so we, we all went all in on it. Uh, some's going to grow back probably better than others, but uh, fun deal we did yesterday and uh, just kind of a team bonding deal too. Is that cause close <clears throat> to anybody's harm? Has that, has that affected somebody? That... Yeah, not necessarily. Yeah. Uh, just kind of a something that was brought to us at A&M with, with Rob uh, probably five or six years ago that uh, we did year after year, and we just felt like it was always a good cause, and um, you know, raised close to twenty-five thousand dollars a year for it. So, um, just to be able to, to give back that way, and um, again, it's kind of something that everybody does together. You know, right before the season starts, too. I know you guys have kind of been doing individual stuff the last few weeks, but what are you kind of hoping to get done, I guess, over the next few weeks here before you get going? Yeah, it's all, all about the live at-bats at this point. Um, we'll have live at-bats today. Hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to get outside a little bit warmer. Um, just the, the position battles right now that are going on, it will probably continue to go on here for the next three weeks. Um, just guys that are squaring balls up consistently. What, what are the guys doing on the mound? Throwing strikes, multiple pitches for a strike. Trying to iron out who the guys are that are going to be the three weekend starters. First weekend we got four starters, so um, those position battles really. How many guys are you kind of having to stretch out now to be potentially starters, given that you have yeah four right out of the gates, and then also just midweek games now. Yeah, so we probably got about seven or eight guys that we're stretching out that are going to get up and down probably three times in their in their outings today, you know, yesterday and then tomorrow. Um, hopefully, build those some of those guys up to four. Maybe by the end of next week, we'll have a better feel for who we're going to kind of pare it down to. Um, but I think the strength of our staff is we have multiple guys that can turn the lineup over. So. Even early on, you don't have to extend a pitch count maybe where you could go to another guy that could eat up you know, two or three innings out of the pen. I feel like we've got, we're stretching enough guys out. We can have maybe um, piggyback some guys and then we have that fourth game. So um, I think you just you have some pretty good options there. Well, you talked about this in the fall about the momentum generated from last year's success. Do you still feel that? I know it's been a few months since you may have been together, you know, as a, in a team setting like this, but do you still feel a little bit of that? Um, I think the momentum comes from your day-to-day -day mindset, I guess. I mean, we you had the momentum of how the season ended where it didn't end the way you wanted it to, but you had a good run, you won a championship, um, you see where you're kind of hopefully going. The recruiting class helped, you know, that with getting all the guys to campus, but just the momentum we feel is honestly coming back here and seeing where the team is at right now. It's it's the team aspect of it where I would say in the fall we were probably further away. Uh, we were a collection of talent, but we're, we've really worked hard to, to get the team aspect going. So I think that's the momentum that we feel the last couple of weeks that we've been going with the small group stuff is like just getting the guys back together, seeing that chemistry where it's at and where it's hopefully going, and just that day-to-day -day mindset, uh, the, the urgency that it takes to be great. I think this team is starting to grasp that um, even as we head into the first full practice. How did you guys come through the offseason as far as guys making progress and kind of doing what you're doing? Yeah, I, I said this in the fall. like. You know, you can throw batting averages and ERAs a little bit out the window because some guys just have a, a little bit dip, more difficult transition. Um, you know, with the 15 freshmen that we have coming in, some guys look totally different physically, put on 10 or 15 pounds. So, you know, I feel like I feel like we're in a good spot that way as far as just seeing guys show up. And, and again, a lot of it is just to be a, a baseball player on a championship level team you have to show up every day like you can't you can't take days off so I think that's the thing I'm most excited about is we probably had about 25 guys so just over half the roster you got 20 20 20 returners and about five guys that probably got it right away now we're closer to 30 and if we can get it to 40 by the time the season starts we're in a good spot when you talk about these freshmen and newcomers that are in typically do you kind of get a sense of what those guys could be in the fall, or is it this time right now in that month leading up where you really have a sense that they can maybe be immediate You see it right away, I think. I, I think you see guys, their their talent level, 
can they hit the pitcher's best fastball right away? I mean, those are things that Bryce and Max did immediately last year when they stepped foot on campus. Um, Jack Style to a degree as well. That's why those guys played more, and we felt comfortable with those guys playing right away. Um, so I, I think you're gonna you're gonna run into a little bit of that with guys at times where you see it right away. Some guys take a little bit longer. I think you you can kind of the mentality part of it too. Um, if a guy comes right in and, and blends in well with the team personality wise, I feel like it's a lot easier for him to to, to step right in and play right away. So. Um, there's going to be probably at least a couple of freshmen that you'll see early, um, positionally especially. Not saying he's one of them, but what have you seen from Drew Christo? Obviously, an in-state guy touted a lot of options. What has he shown you guys? Yeah, I mean, he's he's obviously got the, the talent jumps off the pitch. I mean, the, the fastball's a really good pitch. Um, he's super competitive. He's a great teammate. He's a great student, great in the community. I mean, all the things you bet on when you put a kid in a game, um, you bet on all that character shining through and coming to the forefront. And we've got talent like that, too. I think those are obviously great attributes. So with him, you know, it's a matter of fastball command, not just throwing strikes, but commanding both sides of the plate and then, you know, developing a second pitch. So um, those are things that he's continuing to work on. And he'll certainly have a, a lot of big moments with his team this year, I believe. I guess we're going to talk. that Max Anderson is more the lineup change this year the Yeah, uh, he, he settled pretty comfortably in that five hole last year. Um, for us, I'd say we probably slide him up to make sure he gets up in the first inning this year, no matter what, um, whether it's hitting in a two or three hole. Um, you know, he's learning a new position last year at third base, um, and just seeing him just get more comfortable at it over the course of the fall, where he's at now is night and day defensively. Um, so he's a guy that, you know, last year we DH'd at times to get him off his feet, um, to maybe clear his head. See him third base pretty much every day. Maybe some first base if we need it, uh, but probably hitting two or three in the order. I guess we're going to talk to him in a minute, but what, what was different about Shea in, in the fall? Uh, I would say certainly um, less self-inflicted, um, you know, deal with walks and hit by pitches that, you know, if you give up a hit, maybe it, it turns into a crooked number. Um, I, I think the fastball command, I spoke to that a little bit about Christo. Shea's always thrown strikes. Shea throws more quality strikes now, um, where the glove side fastball away to the, the, the righty, I mean, he can throw that pitch and then throw the, sl the two sliders off of that. that. That is a tough combination, and now he's got to change up. So the change up to lefts is a, is a kind of a neutralizer there. So he's just, you know, he's just another year more mature. Um, you know, getting him back to school as a fourth year guy um, has been huge. And he's just, um, he's really I turned himself into a pitcher. Will, day one, what are the emotions and what do you guys try to get accomplished? Uh, the emotions are we're excited to get better today. Um, and we're just trying to, again, it's I, I, it's not like a broken record at times, but I'm, I'm literally just focused on winning today. And that's what our team, that's the point we're trying to get to is where we're as excited about this day as we are, you know, day number 11 of practice when we're all ready to go play somebody else. So uh, just excited to get going. You guys trying to go outside? We were going to go outside. We're going to go outside tomorrow. Sure. Yep. Your expectations are high for this season. You guys won a championship last season and you're ranked in several preseason polls. How are you guys handling the expectations and what is your message to your team? Get better today. I mean, that, again, that's the message. We don't really talk about a whole lot of things that we can't control, good or bad. Um, I know a lot was made of last year's team uh, not picked very high and maybe use that as motivation. I would say maybe initially that was something that was brought up to the team, but I wouldn't say it was something that we talked about ever. Um, it's a different set of circumstances potentially this year with, you know, the expectations were fairly low last year. We knew internally that we, what we had this year, some national rankings, um, you know, those type of things. It's like you're never as good as you think you are. You're never as good as bad as you think you are. So we got to be in the middle all the time and just be as good as we possibly can on today and tomorrow and then do it again the next day. And then again, you find yourself in some big games. You don't you don't try to rise to the occasion if that's the case. So just try to block out the outside noise by having your blinders on and and uh, working hard in the moment. I know, it, again, it's easier said than done, but uh, the good teams, the great teams can do it. How are you guys health-wise going into the Health-wise, we're in a great spot. Um, we've got pretty much all of our arms available. Um, Gomez is back, and I know that may be a question, but he, he looks great. Um, 
he's worked really hard. I mean, he's had a couple of major setbacks, and he's worked awfully hard to, to get back, and he looks great. Um, so look, we're healthy, um, and we've got a lot of a lot of options available that way. All good with the coach?